Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you see my face for the first time, my name is Ashley and I'm a YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. Excuse me. And in today's video, it's another wine o'clock. And I want to talk about something that I'm sure a lot of us can relate um, with as mothers, as parents generally, because when we become parents, it exposes us to so many advices from different people, from the ones that are useful, from the ones that, you know, so I decided in this video I'm going to share with you guys my own worst advice from the time I got pregnant till today and I'm still getting advices from people. If that like something you're interested in, then please keep on watching and do not forget to subscribe. So guys, yes, I did not want to come here and be black. And if you know me by now, you know that I am the queen of writing things down. So I decided to write down the advices I could remember. So, you know, I'll just go straight to the point and not waste anybody's time. And the first one I'm going to start with. <laughs> hmm. The people that told me do not eat draw soup while you're pregnant. Please, if you are of the opinion, tell me in the comment section why. Because I can't even remember the reasons they gave me then when they said it. When I examine my, I, don't, I can't remember, I sincerely cannot remember the reasons, but I know I heard it more than two times that I should not eat draw soup while I was pregnant. Where did you get that from? Like, is it that it will affect my baby's skin? I, I don't, I, I can't even wrap my head around any reason why such advice would be given in the first place, but it's, it's crazy. I mean, come on. I eat draw soup. I love draw soup. I've always loved draw soup. Like, it took me a while first eating any soup that is in draw soup. And you now tell me to not eat my favorite soup while I'm craving everything food. Please, I ate okra, I ate okono, I ate everything. And as you can see, my baby came out okay. So that is a bad idea or a wrong advice. Another one I got is do not cross your leg while you're pregnant. And I was given a reason that the cord will tie around my baby's neck. Well, I'm already in the habit of crossing my leg. As you can see how I'm sitting now, I cross my leg in different styles, different methods every time. It's how I'm comfortable sitting now. I don't know how to sit straight upright, you know. I don't know how to do that. I did it a lot until I wasn't comfortable with doing it anymore and nothing happened to my child. Her cord was not around her neck, nothing at all. So that was a crazy advice, okay? It's me as far as I'm concerned. It does not, it does not cause anything. If you want to cross your leg, cross your leg. If you think I'm wrong, Please say it in the comment section, but in my own experience, I crossed my leg for as long as I could and nothing, absolutely nothing happened to my child, okay? So, another pregnancy advice that I got was, don't worry, you rest when the baby comes. Really? Really? Because she's 16 months now, I'm still not resting. I have not rested. I feel like I have not slept in almost two years. Yeah. That's how I feel. So please, don't believe that you will rest when the baby comes. Please, as a matter of fact, rest now while you're still pregnant. Because when the baby comes, <laughs> no resting for years. Maybe, maybe when the child is 10. I don't have a 10 year old. But I'm hoping that when they hit the double digit, digit age, they'll give you a break. There is no rest. As in, there is no rest. When she's napping, have things to do and when I'm sleeping and tired she's all over the place jumping around screaming around so I can't rest so please rest when the baby comes is not a good advice it is you guys should please stop giving that advice thank you very much then another advice that I got <laughs> was don't use machine to wash her clothes this was still coming close to when she I was going to deliver her when I said buying baby clothes and wear don't use machine to wash her clothes. Why? Please, I need to know why. So I said, it's not wash it well. The same machine that has washing my own clothes well, so I didn't know what, her, what, what are her clothes made of that not wash her clothes well. I do not understand. So I know all the things that I have to deal with. I should not add using my hands to wash tiny clothes to be mixed. Like, why would I want to do that when machine is there? So are you not telling me that or you know people, hmm? people in their world that use washing machines to wash their clothes. 
are always wearing dirty clothes. The machine is not washing their clothes for them. And they come on now, let's think about it. Think about it. Like, what is the sense behind telling me not to use the machine to wash her clothes? If it will fade the clothes, no wahala. God in heaven will always provide. As the clothes is fading, we'll buy new ones. But I will not suffer myself by using my hand to wash baby clothes. I mean, two days alone, her clothes are like how many pieces? Not any to be using my hand again. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Mm-mm. Oh, another advisor <laughs> I've been getting a lot is do like this. That's what I did when my children were still babies. <laughs> and even people that had babies 30 years ago, 30 years ago, tell me, do like this. This is what I did. Then some 10 years ago, some 15 years ago, even if you had your child five years ago, if you come with, oh, this is what I did, though, I don't know if that's how it still work. And that is something I give my mom credit for. My mom is an experienced midwife, 35 years of service. But when she's telling you, oh, do, 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 she say, this is what I did for you guys. I don't know if that's how it's still done till date. Because you should be aware that things change. So don't give me advice based on what she did. You can just give me a suggestion. Oh, I think you should do like this. This is what I did, but I'm not sure. Fine, but don't say, do it like this. This is what I did. And some of them, sorry to say, when you see the way the child conducts it, uh, is enough proof, <laughs> enough proof that you don't even want to do what they did to their child. You don't want to adopt any of their parenting skills. But they don't know now. They say, monkey, no, fine, no, man, like her. To them, their child is perfect, so they will still come with that advice. Oh, be like this. Oh, this is what I did to this person. And I'm looking at that person and I thought now, like, um, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. So please, stop telling me what you did when you were bringing up your own child that is now an adult. Please, that was how many centuries ago? Thank you. I'm saying like the person is watching this video, or the people are watching this video. What? Maybe they are. Oh, this is the wine. <laughs> okay. Another advice I was getting is, mm, which was just born. Don't always carry her immediately she starts crying. Really, guys? Come on. And sometimes when I go and visit people with newborns, I see where they do that to the child. The child will cry. They say, no, leave, leave her, leave him. Come on. Even as adults, when we are crying, when we are sad, we want to be cuddled, we want to be embraced, you know and all that is now a child, a baby that love is all they understand, cuddling is all they understand. They've been in your womb for nine months, just wrapped up. They now come into this world, they now want to act on them. That you know what? Training them. And what are you training a two month, a two weeks old for? What are you training even a three months old for? Like come on. If your hands are tied and you can't immediately pick up the child, it's a different thing. Well you will see that and look at each other. I say, no, leave, leave him, leave her. I don't want to spoil her. Okay, no, you don't want to spoil your own child. It's okay. I mean, I want to spoil my child with love and affection. So allow me to pick her up when she is crying. I have a cousin that, that will probably watch this video and disagree with me because when she came to visit me after I had my child, I was eating and Nora was crying, but I was starving. Like there was no way I was going to breastfeed that child without eating. And she kept screaming, leave your food and come and carry this child. She was carrying her, but you know, she wanted breast milk, so she didn't care that someone else was carrying her. But yeah, it's because I was eating and I needed to eat that food before I breastfeed her. But other than that, if my hands are free, I will not stay at my newborn crying and say that I'm training. Training what? Her lungs or her voice? I don't understand the training. Do they train people out to cry? So please, that was a crazy advice I kept guessing her. I don't like it. Oh, then another funny one is sleep when baby sleeps. The question I want to ask now is, hmm? if I sleep when baby is sleeping, will I wash plates when baby is washing plates? Will I wash clothes when baby is washing clothes? Will I mop the house when she's mopping the house? Like, is that how it works? Like, well, we both be doing the same thing at the exact same time. I mean, if that is how it works, please, I need lessons so that you know, she can get really hands-on around the house and we can start doing things together. 
But if friends don't have a walk, then please stop telling me to sleep when you're sleeping. Oh, sleep when she's sleeping. So then I'm like talking to someone on the phone and I say, Oh, no, I sleep. Say you to sleep now. Eh? Then when she's awake and running around and scattering everywhere, what should I do? Also running around and scattering everywhere. What happened to all the four thousand things I have to do? Like preparing her meal, which she must get once she starts feeling hungry. I mean, I know yes, you come from a really thoughtful place and you know it's a show it's show of love, but really think about it, like really, really think about it. That's why I don't bother giving anybody that advice because I've gone through it and I know that it's unrealistic for you to tell me to sleep when you're sleeping. Yes, I try to nap as much as I can when she is napping, but it's not, it's not something I do all the time. It's not something I aim at. If, if, if she, it's almost impossible for her to start napping and I, and I try to nap immediately. No, I'll tell not do anything I have to do. If I'm lucky enough that she's still sleeping when I'm done, then I can now sleep. That time I will even sleep with peace of mind. But if I try to sleep as soon as she starts sleeping, after five minutes I'll wake up so and remember all the things I have to do. Peace of mind will not allow me. So sleep when you be sleeping, it's not really the best of life advice. I don't I don't think it is. No. So another thing mm, that I've been getting lately, especially since she clocked me on, is you need to have another baby. She needs company. You need to have another baby. You need to have another baby. So, let me get something straight now. Hmm? When I do have another child, and the child, like when I get pregnant because Nora needs company, and the child grows up, and we're having a conversation, oh, Nora, your dad and I decided to have you because we wanted to bring a child into this world. Oh, whatever the child's name is, let's say Junior. Junior! We decided to have you so that you keep your sister company. That is why, what that is your, your purpose in this life. I mean, come on. And another advice that I get, I, don't, I can't say I get it often, because the truth is I don't get it often, but I've gotten it a few times, is zero screen time. Now, let me be clear on something. I know that exposing babies, toddlers to screen time can be bad for them because it doesn't really engage them, so it doesn't help them develop anything at all. Like no brain activity, they're not moving around, they're just sitting down one place and watching the screen, staying at the screen, doing all the entertaining. So it's not a, a, exactly the best idea. So I suggest as little as possible but when you tell me zero screen time, <laughs> and the people that say this zero screen time hmm, are people that I respect, so I cannot really say anything back to them. But when they were raising children, they had house care, and like two family members living with them, hmm, or one and their mother. Now, in my case, they know that it's just me and this madam. So when he says zero you know, screen time, and they see so much authority as if they even have the power to command me <laughs> to do what I'm supposed to do, or to command me on what I should do in my own home. But when he says zero screen time, I try to make me end up in a mental institution because I need to understand. Like I try to make me go cray cray because screen time. Screen time <laughs> has saved me so many times that I cannot count. There are days, my baby girl goes days without watching anything on her phone or whatever, on her tablet. But there are days, like yesterday, I think yesterday was one of those days. <laughs> this girl was, she was doing my head like this. It was no longer. Fed her, she could not take food again. Mm? I sat in one place, she was crying, crying, dropping all over my body. I went to get things done, she was drag dragging my clothes, dragging my legs, coming in between my legs, shaking me. What do you know? I do not understand. I undressed her to make sure nothing is happening, so I'm not making her uncomfortable. Nothing, she's perfectly fine. Say, eh. 
It's not me you will run mad in this house. Hmm? Mm-hmm. In the other say, on Motobani Yare will be soon. Oh god, whatever, whatever. I remember. He came and said, Mama will be sleeping. He said, Yeah. I just gently went to carry the car. Eh? I said, Oh, you fool. Try it. For days now, you know what? I own the team for her. I say, Watch. And that was how this girl did not leave where she and the staff was for as long as I had to do everything I wanted to do. Came back and sat down and took oh, a deep breath. First, I realized, like, oh, I had a mother to this call. So, you see why I say telling me zero screen time <laughs> is wickedness. Because one person will leave this house for the other person if there's nothing like screen time. Her toys are always there, but sometimes she's just not in the mood for her toys. She does not want to play with any other thing. She doesn't, she can't say that this is what she wants to watch. Even if she sees it, she doesn't carry it and come and do it. Because sometimes she doesn't even know that's what she needs. But when I've tried everything, everything, and nothing else is working, I'm not, yeah, on the screen and give to her, I cannot keep myself for Rico. I cannot keep myself at all. So, yes, this is the worst advice I've ever, ever gotten since I became a mom. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you watched till the end, that means you enjoyed it. Please and please, I'm begging you, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. I don't have a problem. Please share my video with as many people as you want to share. I give you the freedom. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Cheers.